Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte and happy Friday. I'm Corey Nockreiner and today's story is the insider trading hack. This week, the SEC, or the Security and Exchange Commissions, reported that they had suffered a data breach that uh, disclosed non-public information to some sort of threat actor. Now, of course, the Security and Exchange Commission of the United States is an organization that kind of monitors and, and maintains the security of the stock market, the public stock market. And a lot of publicly traded companies share a lot of information with the SEC, basically the information that they're required to publicly release every quarter and of course that data does eventually come public so it's not that sensitive however using the same mechanisms the web applications they use to gather that data the SEC also has access to other non-public data from these organizations as well in any case back in 2016 the SEC found out that they had been breached someone had gained access to one of the web applications they use apparently and stole a lot of data including this uh, non-public data Data as well. Now, in their announcement about this, they don't think that these bad guys made off with any personally identifiable information and they kind of downplayed the attack. But this type of data would be great for insider trading. Any sort of advantage uh, any uh, trader could get as far as non public information about companies could be good for insider trading. So, anyways, it's just another one of those very interesting attacks. In general, threat actors are getting much more sophisticated. When the internet first started, we had to deal with script kiddies and pranksters that like to deface websites. But then organized criminal hackers came and they were pretty bad because they cost us a lot of money in ransomware. But nowadays, the threat landscape is getting pretty dangerous. We have nation states doing some pretty significant cyber espionage and maybe even cyber warfare. We have some very sophisticated attackers doing advanced supply chain attacks and now we even have adversaries that are very smart about who they target going after public entities like the Security and Exchange Commission to get insider information. So just another interesting breach to know about this week. No real practical advice other than to realize threat actors are getting much smarter and much more advanced so be sure to have your defenses in place. That's it for this week's news. Enjoy the weekend and thank you for watching. Oh,